Hey guys, my name is Tommy. Welcome back to the channel. Before we get down to our new video series, quick announcement. So I told you guys when we got to 106 subscribers, double from 53 when we started our first giveaway, there would be a second giveaway. And as of now, we're sitting pretty at 118. So that time has come again. We'll be giving away some sweet RPG stuff. The giveaway will begin on Monday. Look for the announcement video around the time the next episode of the Forgotten Races review drops. It's gonna be a little bigger than a Hero Forge Mini and it's gonna be a little different as well, but I'm really excited to share it with you guys and I hope you love it. So at our Wednesday slot, we're gonna start doing some role play challenges. As I said before, I really enjoy character optimization, and if you guys wanna see more min-maxing for fun and profit, like I've said a bajillion times, just get at me. Throw it in the comments, throw it in a message on any of my social media platforms. I'll hear you, we'll get back to it. But I feel the need to shake things up a little bit. And since our Monday video, the Forgotten Races review, and our Friday video, the Tour of the Inner Sea region, both have definitive endpoints, I feel like I need to stick there and finish those before I go off and do anything else. So we're going to slot out min-maxing for fun and profit and bring in these roleplay challenges. Now, I've seen several YouTube channels do this in the past, and personally, I really love these things. There are several channels on YouTube that I myself have subscribed and in some cases ultimately decided to become a patron of over their various role-playing challenges. I used to look forward to them every week, but lately I just don't see them as much. So I'm going to pick up that mantle myself, not trying to step on toes, not trying to steal anybody's sweet ideas because really to steal this idea I'd have to go back to the first ever printed adventure module that puts forward role-playing situations within it and take from them because I'm sure they did it well before the creation of the internet. This also gives a chance for people who enjoy other RPGs like D&D, Starfinder, even electronic role-playing games like Skyrim or Fallout to have their voices heard on this channel. You just need a character concept and you can run with it. Basically what we're looking at here is a little something like this. I'm gonna present to you guys and I'm even gonna use a GM voice for it, which you should feel very special about because I don't even do that for my players. A scenario that your character in again, whatever system, whatever sort of game finds themselves in. I'll tell a little bit of a story, build it up, present you with a challenge and in character, in the comments, you write how your character would respond to that situation. The following week, we'll discuss one or two responses that I find particularly strong before going into the next one. And we'll probably go even farther than that. And if you make a character that I really like, I'll probably use them in a live stream somewhere at some point. Of course, as always, if you have any requests for something you'd like to see in this new video series, by all means, throw it in the comments, throw it on any of our social media platforms, and we'll tack it on the list. Now, with no further ado, Let's get down to our first ever roleplay challenge. After a long day doing whatever it is you do, you find yourself in the small village of Greymere. Perhaps you live here, perhaps you're just passing through. Regardless, today, this is where you are. The town is incredibly small. By and large, more livestock exist in the surrounding countryside than villagers do within this village. The late afternoon sun shines in your face as you turn a corner and find the entire population of the town has gathered around a vast, expansive merchant caravan. From here, you can hear the merchant's voice hawking wares from all across the multiverse. Anything you could possibly imagine, he is selling, and he is selling at incredible discounts. You approach the crowd and see several people holding exquisitely crafted weapons that glow with the light of enchantment. Magic rings, magic amulets, magic clothing, all of which intricately crafted like nothing you've ever seen. You approach the caravan itself and suddenly the entire scene gets a little hazy in your mind. You rub your eyes, you shake your head back and forth, but nevertheless you find you are surrounded by several people who appear to be holding useless bits of junk and trash. Where once you saw a man holding an enchanted blade, he now holds a broomstick, looking upon it with the sort of awe one can only have for a rare and valuable magic weapon. It's the same story everywhere you look. Robes have become threadbare rags, rings have become bits of metal that have been twisted into circular shapes, and those amongst the crowd enjoying rare and exotic foods appear to be eating something that looks to be as rotten as it smells. 
You approach the nearest villager and tell him what you see, but he refuses to believe you and pushes you away as he continues to take a bite out of something that smells worse than the deepest dungeon you've ever been in. You can see the merchant selling these wares to people all across the town with smiling faces and recognize his elaborate, brilliantly colored robes to be the robes of an illusionist. He has yet to see you. The rest is up to you. In the comments below, tell us what happens next.